Hi, good morning, happy Sunday. So today I decided I'm gonna do a video that um, <laughs> pisses me off. So I woke up this morning and I didn't wash my face or anything and I have a choice how I look in the morning. Last night I went to a party, I stayed out late. I didn't come home and wash my face and wash makeup off. Do I always wash my makeup off at the end of the night? No, I don't, because I usually don't wear it. But last night I didn't wash it off. And so this is how I look in the morning. This is my choice. This morning I saw a picture and it irritates me. It irritates me because there's this message out there that we don't have choices in our life, and we do. I have choices, you have choices, everybody's life is a result of their choices. So, here's what the picture says. P things people do not choose. Number one, sexual orientation. I disagree. We can choose the sexual orientation and we have the freedom to choose the sexual orientation that makes us feel good. What we don't choose is the, the backlash or the opinions of others that come at us. But we choose our sexual orientation. We choose whether we want to go out there and be with this person or be with that person. Just because we're straight doesn't mean we like every single person of the other sex. And just because we're gay doesn't mean that we like every other person that is the same sex as us. It's ridiculous to say you can't choose your sexual orientation. You get to choose your orientation about who you date and who you like and who you're attracted to. You, you choose. You choose. You have a choice. Don't let anybody tell you you don't have a choice. You have a choice. Number two, gender identity. Yeah, you get to choose. If you were born as a man and you want to live as a woman, that's your choice. If you were born as a woman and you want to live as a woman, great, that's also your choice. If you were born as a woman and you want to live as a woman but you want to look like a man, that's also your choice. You have millions of choices. Pick one and feel good about it and wear that choice and be that choice and be proud of your choice. You have a choice. Appearance. Well, <laughs> that's how this video started. I have a choice about my appearance. I didn't wash my face today. Or last night, I didn't wash the makeup off my face. I have a choice. My appearance, if I wanted to, you know, do my... Can I get this thing to balance? No. If I wanted to do my hair up, then my appearance would look different. If I wanted to put on blue or yellow or, or wear a wig, my appearance could be different. I can dye my hair. I can, I can do lots of things for my appearance. I can choose whether I want to dress... Um, casually or dressy or business like we have a choice about our appearance you have a choice I have a choice we all have a choice sometimes we choose to take extra time in our appearance and sometimes we choose to just go with it and that's okay disability you know what we have a choice in disability too and sometimes we're born with a disability but we have a choice on how we affect our life through that disability. A couple of years ago when I was hurt, I was disabled. I couldn't speak properly. I couldn't walk properly. I couldn't drive myself anywhere straight. I didn't even know where I was going. When I would walk up the stairs, I would have to hang onto the rail and the tops of my feet would still bang on the, the um, stairs. Guess what? That doesn't affect me anymore. Why? Because I have a choice. Mental illness, also a choice, also a choice. There are so many circumstances that we can choose. And the fact that if you're if you're feeling a little bit mentally shaken, to feel like you don't have a choice that is happening to you, that's a very sad spot to be. If you are breathing and beating, you have a choice. Things can always be better. You always, every single day, have a chance to make yourself a better version of you. When you wake up in the morning and when you wake and when you go to sleep at night, you will be in one of three places. You wake up in the morning and the activities that you do all day long, the thoughts you have, the actions you take, the questions you ask, the people you surround yourself with, the quality of the air you breathe, the quality of the water you drink, the quality of the food you eat and your choices surrounding that, what you put on your skin and what you absorb through your skin, and also the quality and the energy of the things in your space and the people in your space will all contribute to whether you are the same when you go to sleep, whether you are in a better state when you go to sleep, or whether then you are worse off. And you have a choice for all those things. So the, the fact that these things people do not choose, sexual orientation, gender identity, appearance, disabled, disabled, or disability, mental illness, 
You know what? Don't be a victim of your circumstances. You have so many choices. And wherever you're starting at is just your starting point. You can choose to be better every single day. How do I know this? Well, sometimes I turn the TV on and I see the Paralympic Games. And there's somebody racing down a ski hill on a snowboard with one leg. Are they disabled? No. They're amazing. They are so amazing because they overcome adversity. Guess what? That's a choice. That person could have chose to take the label of whatever it was and live that truth. And they did not. And you also have that choice. The thing I see on here is that people do not have a choice as the race. And you know what? We can't actually we can't actually choose where we're born, but we can choose where we live and we can choose how we participate and we can choose so many things about our life. So please, today, choose. Choose things that make you happy. Choose things that make you feel good. It's not about a label or a, a connotation or you know what in this world what we need right now is to celebrate our similarities the difference is let people be different people are different people are unique and special and you are unique and special so quit listening to people who are telling you that you don't have a choice you do have a choice you have a, jo a choice how you think how you behave how you love how you treat yourself how you treat others how much you smile how you take care of yourself where you go, what you do, all of these things. You could always choose to be better. You could always choose. You have that choice. It really bothers me. It really, it really shows me in society that this system that, that I used to think was broken is really a prison for the mind. And it's like, the system is not broken. The system works perfectly. It keeps people just at this level where they, they just don't want to rise above. You know what? It's time to rise above. It's time to make a conscious choice to rise above. Rise above. So I'm going to go have a shower now and wash my face because that's my choice. And then I'm going to go have breakfast and have some healthy food because that's my choice. Then I'm going to go hang out and have a really great day because that also is my choice. And whether I choose to have sexual orientation or gender identity or what my appearance or disability or mental illness, those are all my choices. I'm going to choose all of them for myself today in the best way that makes me happy. And if you're watching this video, I hope that you go out there and choose the best choices for you that make you the happiest, regardless of anything that happened up until this point. From now, you have a choice. You're allowed to do whatever you want, whatever makes you happy. So go out there and do it, okay? See you soon.